uncontrolled heavy metal pollution creates opportunities for the accumulation of these metals in the environment. Accumulation may occur in agricultural crops habitats. Heavy metals can be absorbed into plant tissues through the roots and leaves to matter. Then they will enter the food chain cycle. Heavy metals that accumulate in the body's tissues, if they exceed tolerance limits, can cause poisoning to a plants, animals, and humans. A plant can act as a measure of the environmental condition in which it grows, or is called a bioindicator. Bioindicators or biomonitor plants in an ecosystem will interact with their environment by showing changes in morphology, anatomy, biochemistry, and physiology. Visible changes can be in the form of necrosis, changes in leaf shape and color, so that bioindicator plants can be used to ensure the presence of contaminants in the environment including those that have accumulated in their body tissues. Therefore, I am going to tell you about my short experiment with the title is Investigation of Heavy Metal Contamination Bioindicators in Mustard Greens Okay, let's start. A short experiment conducted using green mustard plants with a varying concentration of cupri heavy metal contamination of 50 ppm and 100 ppm with one control plan. The first step is to prepare a 50 ppm metal solution using a 19 mg of a chopper nitrate and then dissolve it in 100 ml of distilled water. Dissolving metals using distilled water is uh, useful for facilitating uh, the absorption of metals by plants. The next step is to prepare a 100 ppm metal solution using 37 mg of chopper nitrate dissolved in 100 ml of distilled water. After solution is prepared, its solution is splashed on the plants according to a predetermined concentration. Then the plants will be observed for 3 days to see the changes that occur.
after observation for three days with same treatment, the condition of the place and volume of watering water must plan showed sign of change due to heavy metal contamination. Master plans with a concentration of cupri heavy metal exposure of 50 ppm show changes in the leaves, namely with the edges of one leaf turning yellow and all leaf began to wither. While the master plans with an exposure concentration of 100 ppm shows changes in leaves and stem. One of the leaves turns yellow as a whole with all leaves in a withered condition and one and on the stem there is a change in color to purple. Excessive heavy metal content can cause decreased growth, decreased plant productivity and can cause death. Accumulation of cupre in plants in addition to causing stunted plants and chlorosis of the leaves also causes a reduction in the rate of photosynthesis, damage to the chloroplast structure, disruption of the electron transport process during photosynthesis, and reduced chloroplast density. Therefore, the disruption of the photosynthesis process in the leaves causes the leaves to turn yellow. Based on observation, master plan as bio indicators can be used to ensure the presence of pollutants in the environment.